Well, welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. I am Paul Leone with... Uh, oh, Jer 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 yeah. <laughs> David? <laughs> John Pinkerton. There you go. And David Little? Yeah, you did. Well, you just said David, but we'll put the, the lower third there. We'll little, and anybody who's seen this knows that David, every once in a while, hops in. And, Fill it out for me. Yeah. And, uh, and David uh, brings us uh, some beers. We try to get beers. You brought us some beers. I brought us some beers. You bring us some beers. Right. You bring right. us a lot of beers, actually. And uh, I'm an enabler. An uh, enabler. And uh, the True. beer that you brought us this time yep. was actually uh, uh, took two spots at the best beer of 2008 for BeerAmerica.tv, Allagash. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh, the brewery. Right, yes, right, the brewery. Right. Yes, it so did. we haven't done the beer yet. No, we? no, no. We yeah. have not done this beer, but, but the brewery did. And so I assume this one is probably going to be just as nice. What'd you bring Another us? one of my favorites. Uh, favorites. This one is uh, Interlude. 2008? It's the uh, 2008. Uh, is that like a wine vintage or a beer vintage? Yeah. Uh, are, are I, I, they, you know, I'm do trying they to do remember. a 2009? Do they do a 2007? I'm trying to remember if this was maybe even the first mm -hmm. the really? first bottling of it. I mean, I like so it. It's a, uh, yeah, well, no, no. He, he, to do that, you know. Uh, Rob Todd, who's the, the owner brewmaster at uh, Allagash, keeps, uh, uh, you know, they, they do a lot of, lot of good information on batches, and, uh, and they're, you know, willing to share that. And all this stuff is... Um, bottle condition, they, they grow in the bottle even, so they, they even got some great flavor. The, the great story about Interlude, and as I get ready to open this, is that it was probably, I don't know if you would call this a brewer's nightmare, but it was, it was close to being a beer that they were going to dump down the drain. So, oh. yeah. What? That was a little anticlimactic. I know, man. I'm oh, sorry. That. That's the right way I to was do bracing it. myself for I another know. one of your like, <laughs> slow mo. <Yeah. laughs> if you haven't seen that, Brooklyn Local 2. Take, take an eye out. Almost lost an eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, they, uh, <laughs> they, uh, uh, Maybe I had to cut that in right at this point just to remind people how wonderful that was. <laughs> I didn't. Did I do that one? No. Uh, uh, our good friend John Pajoli was on that episode. Uh, um, you know, it's got a nice color. So they brewed, they, they brewed what they were hoping to be something akin to a Saison, using a Saison yeast, okay. which uh, for any home brewer out there, uh, or professional brewer, knows that uh, Saison yeast has a tendency to slow down. Mm -hmm. Very, wow. Yeah, it has a very Ooh, aggressive yeah. start and then it slows down sometimes right, even stops. Too. Right, that's like, this is, doesn't happen often when we pour the beer and from this distance. That yeah, isn't? Yeah, juicy fruit. <laughs> this that is the juicy, like fruit. juicy fruit. It does. So what happened? Yes. Is they they yes. brewed the beer. Yeah. It sat in the tank. Mm -hmm. Active fermentation at the start, and then stopped. And they couldn't get it to start up again. And they didn't need the tank. They kind of let it sit for a while. They they forgot about yeah. it. And about three weeks later, it started to ferment again. It started up again. It started bubbling again. I don't know if you guys can hear the. Yeah, uh, that's what's happening. The bubbling actually, behind yeah, it. Yeah, that's and going on right now while we. It, it suddenly took on new flavors, flavors that they had not intended it to have, but flavors that were delicious. So delicious. somehow they got a special, or a, 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 there's a, there is a wild yeast strain in this that, last I heard from Rob, they have not even identified it yet. John Pajoli, right in the camera. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is really... That's mm. exceptional. Mm -mm -mm. So... You know, here they yeah. thought here they thought they had a giant wow. tank of beer they were going to have to throw away because it didn't finish fermenting, and suddenly it becomes this. So they take some and they actually oak age part of it and then blend it back in. So wow. it's aged in wine barrels. Lovely. This is a delicious. Aged product. in wine barrels, Pajoli. Has low wine in it. There you go. Damn. Okay. So just yeah, overwhelming juicy fruit character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, some really lovely acidity kind of like notes in there that kind of keep it keep it lively. Um, it, it tastes to me like a stronger beer, but uh, alcohol seems fairly well integrated. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, I think it's what nine, nine point five. Well, for a nine point five uh, percent beer, I would say the alcohol is very well integrated. Uh, we just tasted uh, one of our beers that we just brewed very early in fermentation. It's a 7.6% mm -hmm. alcohol, and it's very boozy, like very little, little hot. Yeah. Uh, but it, it has time to settle down. But the point being is that there is there's a sort of uh, range of apparency, that alcohol apparency. Mm -hmm. This is... Wow. But the 
fruit. It's the juicy fruit. Yeah, 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 when you were saying, you know. And, and for those folks who haven't seen some of the videos, when he says juicy fruit, it doesn't really taste like juicy fruit gum, but it's a good analogy to, it sure to smell really, like it. Yeah, it's just the smell, you know. I it's mean, just, this one, I mean, it, it has that, because of that, that wild yeast, it's got a little, it's got that acidity. Mm -hmm. It just makes you salivate. I mean, I, I, I just want to keep drinking it. It just, it just, you know, every sip says, I want another one, please. Yeah. That's um, good. I'm a really excited. Yeah. Qualities there as well. Yeah. Yep. I don't, know, I don't know how much of that's actually coming from the, you know, maybe the yeast, but certainly from the wine barrels that they're mm -hmm. aging some of them. So it must be picking. I think it's uh, Merlot and Syrah. I think two two red wine wow. barrels that it's that they're using. You know, and when wow. you yeah, like you said, you mention it, and then you kind of taste it. I do taste a little bit of that, just a little bit. I'm so excited. Rob is actually coming to Savannah in a, in about a week or so, and we're doing a we're doing a beer dinner. And yeah, excellent. Uh, my absolute favorite restaurant. If you're ever in Savannah, go to Noble Fair. Uh, tell Pat I said hello. Um, it's an amazing restaurant, and he gets beer. He really understands it. Yeah. And um, we've done some other dinners there, but I know he is just going to knock it out of the park with this beer, pairing it with this. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it seems like for the beer dinners, he, uh, it's like his own personal challenge to really make it exceptional. Yes, yeah, definitely. We did the dogfish. Uh, the dogfish there? Yep. Dinner. Yep. Wow, well, outstanding. Allagash uh, Interlude 2008. August even gives you a month. Even August. Yes. And, uh, and and it's outstanding. Another big one. Another nice one. David Little. Kind of blown away. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> outstanding. And, and oh, John, uh, John Pajoli, what do you uh, think? Even, even John would have <laughs> It's good. I mean, he's almost speechless <laughs> back there. He actually enjoys it, so that's it's good. Not, it's not beer. You know, the, the problem with John Pajoli is he's so verbose. He's like, yeah, he's just Mr. Loquacious back there. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to spit one out. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> this, just, oh. this is going to be the one. Yeah. No, not this one. Definitely well, not this like, one. It's, talk about not beer. That's the way Rob describes it. He says uh, his Belgian style stuff is because it takes mm -hmm. up the beer from Germany when he mixes it with the wine of France. So, And that's really kind of sums up what American craft beer has kind of turned into. You know, just you just experiment, you do a lot of cool things, and you stretch what beer can be and what it, you know, what we perceive beer to be. You know, it's outstanding. And I'm that's hungry. a dinner bottle right there. That, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Like a just like a bottle of wine. I would have it. Just, yeah. Incredible. I think we need to be drinking this out of a beaker or something. I'm feeling something <laughs> special. <laughs> <laughs> Not just any glass, but a beaker. Like we used to in the old days. Do you think I might actually, when we were sampling? Do you think I'm going to actually let you have any more of them? I uh, probably not. So I'm going to yeah. keep this one for a little bit. Like, <laughs> <run. Yeah. laughs> any questions or comments? Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. David at Pink. Uh, David Pink America. <laughs> David at Pink America. He's David at BeerAmerica.tv. Uh, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and all the fun social networking sites. Uh, send us an email. Send we'll, us emails. Uh, we'll comments you... are always good too. And if we like what you have to say, or if you have anything, uh, if, you, if you comment a lot, we've got t-shirts now. Maybe we can send some t-shirts out to some of the people uh, that have yeah, been commenting to, regularly sure. on the site. Sure. Would be good. Come up with a good one. Hey, come up with some question sort of thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe because send, send in a question or something. So send a question. It would really, be really good. If we yeah. pick your question or pick your topic uh, yeah, to love. talk about, then we'll send you a t-shirt. Simple as that. Yeah, we'd love so, it. That'd be great. There you go. Gentlemen, cheers. David, awesome beer. Thank you, sir. John? To Rob Todd and the gang. Thanks, Rob. See you in a while. Blown away. Yeah, excellent. Uh -huh.